What's up everyone? I hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. So I know it feels like forever since I've had my last new comic book haul for you, but today I've got some variant covers, compendiums, but the best part of it all is I have a package to open up from AWA Upshot. I have no idea what's inside, but I can't wait to open it up, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone, I am your host AR Comics and today I've got a new comic book haul to go over with you all. I've got varying covers, compendiums, and I cannot wait to open up this package from AWA Upshot. So before I even get started, thank you AWA so much for this package, I can't wait to see what's inside. But before I get started on this video, if you are new to the channel, I drop weekly comic book content that will keep you up to date on all of the latest releases. So if that sounds like something you do not want to miss out on, make sure you hit that subscribe button down low and the little bell to get notified every time I drop new content, you won't regret it and now without further ado let's start going over these books all right everyone it has been so long since i had a new comic book haul for you but i really haven't been buying that much in today's time it's such a seller's market everybody is trying to sell books if you go anywhere on youtube or facebook groups everybody's trying to push some sort of speculation saying this is going to be the next hottest book and now they're trying to sell it for so much money so i really haven't been buying all that much stuff so this small stack of books some of it's reading material, the rest of it is just variants that I really liked and I got good deals on, so I definitely had to pick them up. So I'm going to go through them a little bit quicker. This one, this one I wanted for so long, and I found a pretty good deal on it on eBay. So it's A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. Like I said, I never gave it a read. I heard it was very good, and when it first came out, I missed out on it, and then it was selling for so much money. People were trying to sell it for 15 20 bucks at the time. So moving this one out of the way, next up we have The Department of Truth. This is issue number six. Honestly, this was an issue that I really didn't like. This is probably the only issue in the series that I didn't really enjoy, but I love this cover so much. I wish it was the Virgin variant, but I'm still definitely going to be getting this one slabbed. And then moving on from there, these are all done by the same artist, John Tyler Christopher. We have, this is the Star Wars issue number seven. This is limited to 4,000, the Luke Skywalker negative variant. These are just so gorgeous. I love them so much. I know a lot of people who aren't too big into the negative variants, but I don't know. They do something for me. I really like them. The next one, though, this is the Palpatine. I'm not exactly sure what the actual issue is, but when I searched it on eBay, I literally just typed in John Tyler Christopher Palpatine negative variant. There's not many of them, but this one did pop up, so if you're interested in it, I'm sure you can do the same. There are a ton of these on eBay right now, and last time I looked, they're selling for about $35 to $45, so you can get yourself a pretty good deal. This one's definitely a little bit more on the expensive side. And now finally, same thing, we have the Yoda negative variant. I'm not exactly sure which issue this one is either, but I love all of these. Same thing, you can look this one up on eBay. This one's a little bit more on the pricier side too. I think I got this one for about $65. There's not too many of them on eBay last time I checked though. So let's move these out of the way and check out the compendiums next. All right, so I did pick up two compendiums recently and the first one is Spawn, compendium number one. This collects issues one through 50. It's got a price tag of $59.99, and this is the one that just recently came out in January. So I did order this one through InStockTrades.com. I think I got it for, before shipping and tax, about $35. A lot of people have asked me, can you trust that website? Are they reliable? So like I just said, I got it for about $35. I think I ordered it the day it did come out. So my only thing with them is, is as far as shipping goes, while usually you do get close to free shipping or shipping is only like $4, it does take a long time to get to you i ordered this on march 15th and i just got it i think yesterday in the mail so if you don't need the book right away and you like surprises about a month a month and a half later i mean you'll be good to go then but i am really happy that i have this and i'm looking forward to getting started on it i've wanted to read spawn for so long now but i wasn't interested in getting all the single copies of it and if you've been up to date on any of the hard covers for spawn they are selling for a ton of money so when they announced this i knew i had to get it right away the next one that I recently picked up, I honestly mainly picked this one up because of the TV show that just came out, but we have Invincible, compendium number one. This collects a ton of issues too. This has issues zero through 47. There's a total of, I believe, three compendiums for this one. This one does have a price tag of $64.99 on it, and I have never read any of these issues. I really don't even know what Invincible is about, but after they announced the TV show, and I heard the TV show is actually pretty cool, 
You guys already know, New World Comics in Oklahoma City. That's the comic shop you need to go to when you're in this area. I was talking to one of the guys there, and he said, you're going to love Invincible. And he didn't really have a hard time selling this book. Once he said that, I pretty much got it right away. So thank you for the recommendation. And seriously, if you guys are ever in the area, you need to go check them out. But I can't wait to get started on this one either. And now for the big one of the day. Let's get started on this AWA unboxing. All right, so now for this unboxing, I just want to say thank you again, AWA Upshot, for sending this my way. I love that company so much. They've got incredible series out right now. Two of my most favorite ones are Year Zero and Casual Fling. Casual Fling is only two issues deep, and it has been so good. Year Zero just wrapped up Volume 2. They have a trade paperback for Volume 1, and I'm not sure if Volume 2 is out yet, but definitely be on the lookout for it because it is coming out soon. So let's unbox this and see what's inside. All right, so now that everything's out of the box, I just want to say thank you again, AWA Upshot, for sending me this package over. I really do appreciate it, and I can't wait to show off what was inside. They really did hook it up. Check this out. Look at that fat stack of stuff that they sent our way. So I'm going to go over some of the single issues first. First up, we have Chariot issue number one, and this is one of their newest series. I really enjoyed it. I kind of wanted more out of a first issue because I was so intrigued as to what was going on. I kind of got some Knight Rider vibes from it. Next up, we have Casual Fling, issue number one. I was just talking about this one too, but not only did they send cover A, we've got cover B, and they sent over issue number two for it as well. There's only two issues so far, and like I was just talking about, it's probably my second favorite series from AWA right now. I can't stress how good those first two issues really were. And next up, we have Redemption, issue number one. The same thing. I love this one as well. It's like a Western sci-fi type feel to it. We got cover A for it, and we got cover B for issue number one. Now, those are the single issues. I just want to say thank you again so much. Now, moving on to the trade paperbacks. The first one is The Resistance, volume one. They are coming out with a new Resistance series this Wednesday for new comic book day. It's called The Resistance Uprising. So if you didn't get an opportunity to read this yet, make sure you read this before you start reading the other one. And now the next one they sent us, we have Year Zero, volume one. And this is hands down my favorite series from AWA still. Volume one was incredible and volume two was just as good. Now I know a lot of people say it's zombies, you know, everybody's doing zombies. But man, the character development on these characters is just so well done it's just so it goes above and beyond in these stories and it's only five issues so the fact that they can create these characters environments and just a story from start to finish within five issues that says enough and next up we have archangel 8 this is volume one this is one that i never got an opportunity to read but i've heard a lot of good things about that one so moving on from there we have old haunts volume one this is one that i read so long ago this is probably one of the first ones that i have read from awa upshot i just loved it so much so that one's always going to have a little spot in my heart Moving on from there, we've got Hotel. This is another early one that I read that I've talked to so many people about that they really like that one too. And then moving on, we've got Devil's Highway, Volume 1. This one is an earlier one, I believe, and this is another one that I never got an opportunity to read, so I can't wait to get started on this one too. This is another one that I never was able to read, but this one they just came out with recently. It's the COVID Chronicles. When I heard they were releasing this, I thought that was such a cool idea that AWA was doing that. And then moving on, we've got Bad Mother, Volume 1. I loved this series so much. My only thing with Bad Mother, though, was that I wish it was just a few issues longer. I understand a lot of these are four or five issue series but just a couple more issues i think that really would have wrapped this series up well and next up we have red border volume one this is another earlier one from them that i just loved so much but not only did they hook it up with one copy of that we got two more copies as well so those are all the things that they sent me. Like I said, they really hooked it up. Thank you again so much, AWA Upshot. They really are such a great company. They've got so many good series out right now, and I highly suggest checking them out. So now let's do a recap. So what'd you guys think of this latest haul? I've got so much good reading material. I'm going to be set for a little while now, but thank you so much, AWA Upshot, for sending me all this cool stuff. But since they did, I'm going to be doing a little giveaway for you guys now. Comment down below what your favorite AWA series is, and you're going to be entered into the giveaway. And I'm going to be announcing the winner at the end of my new comic book day top 10 video this Thursday. I'm going to be having three winners for this one. The first winner is going to be getting all of these single issues together. 
The second winner is going to be getting Red Border Trade Paperback Volume 1. And the third winner, same thing, is going to be getting Red Border Trade Paperback Volume 1. So when I do the giveaway, it's just going to be winner 1, 2, 3, and that's just how it's going to be. But thank you again for watching my video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you don't want to miss out on any of my upcoming content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down low and the little bell to get notified. Every time I drop new content, you won't regret it. I've got two more videos sitting off the side here with more of my comic book content. Click on one of those and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.